الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Brothers and sisters, Ramadan is a month where you carry responsibilities I have to take on responsibilities It is that month where it's accountability. ولذلك the Prophet told us عليه الصلاة والسلام كلكم راع وكلكم مسؤول عن رعيته Every single one of us is a shepherd and every single one of us is going to be asked about our flock our flock <coughs> what have you done with them? have you served their needs? have you fulfilled their rights and their responsibility? So Ramadan is that month where you take responsibilities. لذلك the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم it was this month where he would show that quality of taking responsibility. Uh, one hadith should be enough for everybody to realize. If the last 10 days of Ramadan would enter the narration mentioned about the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم شد مئزره وَأَحْيَا لَيْلَهُ وَأَيْقَضَ أَهْلَهُ The Prophet Sallallahu he would tighten his waist, which is a, it's a metaphor, which means that he would get up for work. He would get up to work hard. وَأَحْيَا لَيْلَهُ He revives his night يعني, by praying. وَأَيْقَضَ أَهْلَهُ shows you that he's taking responsibility of his family. He would wake his family up to pray with him. He will say to them, come, let's go pray, let's taraweeh, let's pray qiyamul layl, let's fast, come on, let's do the righteous, let's read Qur'an, let's do dhikr. وَأَيْقَضَ أَهْلَهُ It's not a month where every, somebody's, ah, I've let everybody do what they want, I'll do my thing. No, it's that month where people يعني, involve their family. And what is it that you work towards in the responsibility of your family? is that you purify their hearts. As Allah said in the ayah, وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا This is the month where شهر مبارك, شهر رمضان, شهر القرآن, شهر الصبر. It is this month where the person يتعاهد نفسه, he trains his nafs and cleanses it and purifies it. And he does the same for his family. When he makes his family do righteous deeds with him, they're also working with him in purifying their nafs. As Allah said in the ayah, إِنَّ النَّفْسَ لَأَمَّارَةٌ بِالسُّوءِ The nafs calls you. The nafs calls you to that which is harmful. The nafs wants you to do something haram. So these are all responsibilities. Responsibilities for yourself, number one, to purify your own heart and cleanse yourself and also a responsibility of your, your, your family that you take that responsibility, you revive them, you wake your children up the Prophet Sallallahu he informed us that by his actions Alayhi Salatu Wasalam also the Tarbiyatul Abna the cultivation of your children you train your children now on a responsibility of what? by learning to control their nafs you're not going to eat. Your nafs wants to eat, don't give it food. Your nafs wants to drink, don't give it something to drink. Obey Allah over your nafs. Show servitude to Allah over your nafs. Okay? And this is the age that it starts for the child. Also, the, from the responsibilities that a person needs to take, is a responsibility towards his community. And that is, the Prophet said, كُلُّ نَفْسٍ يَغْدُوا فَبَائِعُ النَّفْسَهُ فَمُعْتِقُهَا أَوْ مُوبِقُهَا The people are two types. 
in this matter, in Shahr Ramadan, when it comes to fulfill the people's rights. كل الناس يغدو فبائع نفسه that's one فمعتقها أو مبقها given to your family given to the people around you that's what the hadith is alluding to you give charity take care of your the, the community and the people you're from if Ramadan comes You work towards du'matan lil masakin. You feed the masakin. You take care of them. Those who are in need. It's a responsibility that's also on you. Anyone who ponders on the Quran and ponders on the Sunnah of the Prophet, you find a lot of examples of the concept of taking responsibility. The responsibility the wife of Imran took. When it came to Bayt al Maqdis, by making a nether to Allah, wa ta'ala, she made a promise to Allah wa ta'ala, that if Allah gives her a boy, that this boy is going to be working, serving Bayt al Maqdis. Also, the responsibility that the Hudhud took when it saw a nation prostrating to the sun besides Allah, wa ta'ala. when he came back to Nabila Sulaiman. And he told him about the news. Who to take a took a responsibility, right? And that was to rectify the situation. The responsibility that the ants that were walking in front of Nabila Sulaiman, that one of the ants took a responsibility on itself to, to protect the other ants. As Allah said in the Quran, Hatta ila ataw ala wadi namli. قالت يا أيها النمل ادخلوا مساكنكم لا يحطمنكم سليمان وجنود وهم لا يشعرون. One of the ants screamed and shouted out loud, and it said to its people, يا أيها النمل ادخلوا مساكنكم. Oh ants, go into your houses. لا يحطمنكم لا يحطمنكم سليمان. Do not let سليمان destroy you. وهم لا يشعرون whilst they are unaware of it. All of the responsibilities should be taken serious, especially in this month of Ramadan. Whether it be responsibility towards your parents, whether it be responsibility towards your children, whether it be responsibility to your neighbors, your Muslim neighbors who are around, even the non-Muslims. Also the responsibility of your community and the people you're from. And all of that, it's a time where we all try to work towards fulfilling that responsibility. We ask Allah wa ta'ala an yaj'alana min alladheena yatahammaloona al-mas'uliyyata ala atam wajhi. We ask Allah wa ta'ala to make us those who take the responsibility the way that we should. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaytan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdi ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi. Ramadan, welcome holy month Ramadan. Ramadan